My name is Mason and I'm here to talk about my spinal CSF leak. I'm a salesman. I work for a consumer electronics distributor. Before my spinal CSF leak, I was extremely active. I played volleyball, golf, hockey, and tennis. The way this all started was about two weeks prior to Christmas, I began to get severe headaches and I sort of treated them with over-the-counter medication because I had a uh, physical scheduled with my um, general practitioner and I figured I would just wait until then. I went to see him and I have never had a history of headaches uh, at all and so when I told him I've been experiencing this for about two weeks he immediately sent me to the emergency room because he knew that something was wrong. I, I simply didn't experience headaches prior to this. I went to the ER and they did a CT scan. Uh, after looking at the results, they decided that I probably had a pinched nerve in my neck and they gave me a prescription for um, pain meds and an anti-inflammatory and sent me home. My physician called and asked what had happened and I told him and he decided that he didn't like that diagnosis, that it just didn't sound right to him. He then went to the hospital and with my permission, of course, looked at the results himself. And he had a friend who was a neurosurgeon who he sent the results to uh, to get a second opinion. I went and uh, saw his physician who ran MRIs again and basically the same tests that I'd done at the hospital. And he couldn't find anything either and said that unfortunately the next test would be uh, a lumbar puncture. So I, I did the lumbar puncture and the results of that were uh, completely inconclusive. Uh, he did not have a diagnosis for me. So he referred me to yet another neurosurgeon at another hospital that he felt might be able to help me further. I was now at my third neurosurgeon, and he did a series of tests, more MRIs, uh, which were also inconclusive. But he walked into the examining room with utter confidence, and he told me, look, just because we haven't found a spinal CSF leak doesn't mean it's not there. We're going to find it, and you're going to be fine. So he decided that we were going to do a DSM. And he explained to me that I would be getting the DSM on one side, and if they didn't find it on that side, uh, then I would have to come back in a number of weeks and do another one on the other side. Fortunately for me, they did find it on the very first try. I got a diagnosis of a CSF venous fistula, and we scheduled a surgery for a few weeks later. So after the surgery, um, I felt surprisingly good. Um, I had a little bit of pain around the area of the incision, uh, you know, lying on my back and so forth. But other than that, I, I really didn't have any pain. So over the next few weeks, uh, I did have some rebound headaches, maybe three to five rebound headaches, um, where I did take nothing more than an over-the-counter medication. Uh, so I, I felt great. It's been almost a year uh, since the surgery, and I don't have any headaches at all. Uh, I feel fantastic. Like I say, I've resumed all of my normal activities, and uh, I, I feel great. I'm 100% again. For anyone suffering from a spinal CSF leak, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I'm living proof of it. With the right diagnosis and the right care, uh, you will get better and you will get your life back.